Hey Technology Crazy here and I have a very exciting video for you guys. Today we're going to be covering how to get the Wii on your computer. The first thing you're going to need is a pretty fast computer. Now I suggest a Mac, but if you have a Windows that's totally fine too. If your computer has Bluetooth, that will work too, so you can actually hook up the, the remotes. So that's another important feature that you can do. But you don't need a Wii remote to play, you can uh, hook up other controllers and use the mouse and all that stuff. The second thing you're going to need is a program called Dolphin. Now I have uh, links in the description for the Mac and Windows so you can go and check that out. Uh, it's freeware so it, you, it won't cost you a cent. The third thing you're going to need is an ISO of uh, the game. So to get these it's pretty hard, you have to go through your Wii and if you know how to do it that's great. Um, but if you own the game already then I figure you can just go on the internet and search the ISO of the game like uh, Mario Kart ISO download, something like that. Lots of things will come up. Now they're pretty big so you need a fast internet connection or if not it's going to take you like 12 hours just like to download. Okay so let's head over to the computer and I'm going to be covering all the settings and everything. I'm going to be working on a Mac but everything is the exact same for um, the Windows. Okay so I'm on my Mac right now and I'm on the website where you download the emulator from. Uh, the link is in the description but if you don't want to go there it's dolphin slash emulator dot com. Uh, basically just go into the download section and uh, here's your download links for the newest version. Uh, here's the program right here. I have my ISO. Basically, uh, just download the ISO off the internet if you have no idea how to get it. Otherwise, I, I don't want to explain it. It's too hard. Um, but basically, browse for it, find the ISO, and it will appear here. Next, we're going to go into graphics, and we're going to change the resolution to the resolution of your screen. Um, I have a Mac, and it's high resolution and pretty fast, so I choose a high one. Um, if you have a really slow computer, I would suggest maybe toning it down a little bit to a lower resolution uh, just for speed's sake. Uh, next we're going to use full screen and over here we're going to make sure this is on auto. This will just match the resolution we typed in over here. Next under hacks we want to make sure that RAM is unchecked. This will just make it faster. Uh, you can try having it checked but it will just run really slow. Even though it will look better, it will just run really slow with most games. Um, after that, you're ready to go. You can just highlight it and press play. But if you want a Wii Remote and all those functions, I'm just going to be covering that right now. Uh, so first off, we just click on Wii Remote and get your Wii Remote ready. Your computer has to have Bluetooth, so um, make sure you have that. Second, you just want to make sure that this is on real Wii Remote. You can also do it with the keyboard if you don't have Wii Remote. Uh, to use the controls, but this is uh, better since I have a Wii remote. Um, first thing, you just want to take off the back cover and uh, press the red button on the back and press refresh and just press 1 and 2 on the Wii remote. And the Wii remote will vibrate and uh, show that it is on player 1 or whatever player it's on. After you have all your Wii remotes hooked up, you can press OK and you're ready to go with the Wii remote. Now if you want a sensor bar, now this is the really tricky part. I have a picture of a sensor bar on the screen and if you click on that and you're on your computer, it'll take you to a video and I'll show you how to build one of those. Uh, one, just using the Wii sensor bar, which is easiest. Uh, two, making your own uh, with a battery pack. And three, using a USB to power your sensor bar so it's meant for the computer. Uh, I don't know when I'm going to make the videos, but I'm going to try to do it as soon as possible. Um, if not, uh, I apologize now, but I'll have the videos up at some point. Uh, anyways, let's go to the PickMe program, and um, yeah. Okay, so the PickMe program winner this week is Lewis McIntosh, and I'm pretty sure he won this before, but uh, he has an amazing channel. Um, I'm pretty sure I, I subscribed to him a long time ago. I've actually been watching all his videos. He's one of those guys where you actually do have to go and check him out. Uh, he has... He makes lots of videos a week, and they're all extremely high quality. I would not be surprised if he surpassed me in subscribers and views in the next few months, uh, just because he makes so many videos and they're such high quality. And he has a whole thing going on YouTube there, uh, so don't definitely go and check him out. All you have to do is go and click on the "Click Me" button on your screen right now. If you uh, want to be part of the Pick Me program, all you have to do is go onto my newest video and. Uh, Write pick me in your com in the comments, and you can say it as many times as you want, and I'll pick someone randomly. Anyways, that's all from Technology Crazy. Goodbye.